These are the items I've brought home from the flea market over the last couple months. I found most of them at the Gold Nugget Flea Market in Lambertville, New Jersey. I try to visit on Wednesday mornings before work. Okay, let's start off with the mystery tool. I brought it home because it's made out of my three favorite materials, steel, wood, and brass. This wheel spins, and it's made up of tiny pokey things, and they're pretty sharp. My guess was some sort of high-speed acupuncture device. I don't know. I'll give you a hint, though. As soon as Mrs. Magdad saw it, she knew what it was. So these are Avon aftershave bottles. I think these are cool. If I see them for cheap, they usually follow me home. This one is an Avon Sterling 6 Tie Winds Aftershave. That says May 1978. All right, time for a sniff test. Reminds me of the aftershave my dad used to use. This one, I believe, is missing a part. I think that says Bugatti 27. Deep Woods Aftershave. I don't see a, a year molded into this one. All right, let's try this one. That one smells like elderly gentlemen. I found three perfect handle style screwdrivers over the last couple months. The smallest one is about four inches long and this big one right around 16. This one's in pretty rough shape. I think it's bent. The wood's messed up. I think there's some writing on here but it's it's hidden by the patina. This one might be one of those made in Germany models. It's got a a number in here. I think it's a five. That might be the uh, the length of the blade. Yeah, that makes sense. Five goes to about there. The wood's in pretty good shape. Of course, it's bent. And this one here, I believe this is a genuine, yeah, here you go. That's a genuine H.D. Smith perfect candle. And the wood's in nice shape. The tip's been modified, but it's not too bad. That would clean up nice. Here's three more screwdrivers. You know I like my wood handled screwdrivers. I was attracted to this one because it's a Stanley bell system. This one here, this is a Miller's Falls. I think this might be the first Miller's Falls screwdriver. I've come across. I think this dark red handle would clean up nice. I've got a pretty good sized collection of screw holding screwdrivers. I haven't been bringing many more home, but this one I was attracted to because it's also a Miller's Falls. There's the part number. So I had to have that one. I'm not normally attracted to pipe wrenches, but I thought these two were interesting. 
this one's a rigid offset and it's rusted rigid looks like it might have spent some time on the bottom of the Delaware River this is also a rigid it's the six inch model I like these little ones I was really impressed with the bend that someone put in this handle right? it's a tiny little pipe wrench and look it's bent that way and that way. It's got like a compound bend to it. Now what someone was doing with this little thing, but they were trying hard. I'm a bigger fan of these style adjustable wrenches. I mean what kind of maniac doesn't like vintage auto wrenches? This is a, another one of these Barnes Tool Company bicycle size adjustable wrench. I like the little scallop cutout on these. I think that's sharp. This is a little tack puller. And it's marked Barcalo Buffalo, USA. I thought this was one of those brass Eagle Oilers, but there's no name on the on the cap. And there's no markings on the bottom. I checked it with a magnet. It is brass. It's currently not working. It doesn't have a lot of dents. The bottom's a little messed up. Hopefully I can get it working. This is a Stanley 1299 cast iron utility knife. And this one here is some sort of light light alloy number 299. I don't think I've run into a number 299 before. I'm used to finding the Stanley 199s. And just for comparison, the 199s are a bit longer than that 299. The 299 and the 1299 look like they're the, the same size. There's always pocket knives at the flea market, but they're usually more money than I want to spend. I'm guessing these two were cheap because they made it home with me. This one looked like it got crushed. It's marked Imperial. It's one of those hubcap style knives. The blades, see if I can get this little one out. Ah. The blades are in great shape. This one's a coast. Looks like it's in pretty rough shape, but again, the blades. The blades are in pretty good shape. I recently started collecting bullet pencils. This one is the less desirable plastic barrel type. I guess the one thing it's got going for it got the Lord's Prayer on it. And I think this one, yeah, somebody's replaced the original pencil. 
with a more modern pencil. Well, it says something Philadelphia, huh? Something of Philadelphia. I was pretty happy to find this one. This one is that style that looks more like a bullet, no eraser. It's all brass. And it's got this copper medallion. I'll try to go through it slow. It says, the U.S. Capitol. I imagine this was a, a souvenir from visiting Washington, D.C. And this looks like it might be the original pencil. Yeah. This one's sharp. I think this might be the second one of these things I've found. It's a scripto mechanical pencil and it's marked property US government. And this is the same style of the classic scripto pencils. I like these because they have thicker lead. I've got a couple of these now too. This is a, a 50 caliber BMG dummy round. It's been drilled out so you know there's, there's no powder. There's no primer. Just give you an idea how big this thing is. It's like five and a half inches long. Pretty cool, right? So I have a collection of Batmobiles. And I hadn't seen this one before. I think it was in the dollar bin. This one's marked DC Comics 1997. I like those like clear flame wings it's got. Get the little bats on the wheels. So you're at the flea market, and the vendor's got a dollar table, and you spot a statue of a bald eagle perched on top of a Native American decorated animal skull. And what do you do? Well, you do the only sensible thing. You hand the guy a buck and you bring it home. Predictably, Mrs. Magdad rolled her eyes. Now, Chuck says he has some bald eagle blood in his family. Something about a distant uncle. I don't know. I don't see any resemblance. I get a kick out of hunting for gems at the flea market. Which item was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I didn't forget about the mystery tool. It is used in sewing. It's called a pattern tracer. The sharp tines on the wheel are used to transfer lines from patterns to material.